Colonel Magee, 40 minutes ago, the United States of America crashed Copenhagen's uplink network, invaded by air, occupied European soil, and initiated combat operations against our forces. Our first attempt to drive them from the city failed, but now we have units in position to mount a determined counterattack. IWCE will expend a satellite to recrash the city's uplinks. Your forces will secure and reboot the network. Once we have achieved electromagnetic dominance, the Americans will have no choice but to surrender or flee. Theirs was an act of unprovoked aggression, Colonel. Show no mercy to these invaders. That is all. Colonel Maldini has logged on. Data stream secure. Operation Polonius is a go. Repeat, Polonius is a go. Enforcer riflemen on the ground. Designated units one and two. Riflemen are best against combat drones and engineers. All that heavy equipment engineers carry makes them easy to gun down. Copenhagen's uplinks are offline. We need to secure and reboot more than half to establish signal dominance. Grab the uplink. Confirm. Only infantry can secure uplink. The they are vulnerable in the open, so terrain must be used to provide cover. Ready to deploy. All back, win. This is right here. Infantry is most effective in our car. This is safer.
Uplinks boost signal confidence. Let's us bring in reinforcements faster. We need to capture one more uplink to achieve our objective. Superb command and control. We can win by keeping our hold on these two uplinks, waiting for the network to come back online. Or we can go for the knockout punch and capture the final uplink. It's your call. We can't let the Americans capture another uplink. Si, Central. Excellent. We are ready. We're engaging. Again. Saber here. We are at full strength. Confirm, we are outbound. Finish them before they spot! I'm out here. This is Pilatus. One mission is to This is safe. We are in cover.
Copenhagen network back online. We have complete signal dominance. This is high command. Cease all combat operations. The Americans have accepted my offer. They will release Minister Poulet in exchange for safe passage back to their troop carriers in the North Sea. But General, with the network back online, we could veteran strike fighters. For the moment, it is prudent to be merciful, Capitaine. We shall see how long this moment proceeds. With the smoke still settling in Copenhagen, the U.S. and Europe have stopped just short of declaring war. President Becerra still claims evidence of a conspiracy to destroy the Freedom Forum, an accusation President Perot calls preposterous. Both leaders have agreed to meet for talks next week on neutral ground in London. Meanwhile, the Freedom Force rescheduled launch is set to go forward tomorrow morning. Good evening, Colonel Samuelov. I assume it is obvious to you that I arranged the Forgotten Army's attacks on April 4th and also the incident in Copenhagen. These actions were a service to our motherland. How much longer do you think we'd have before the U.S. and Europe found an excuse to ally against us to take our oil? Real politic demands that this spark of war between our enemies before this can happen. Copenhagen took them to the brink. Tonight you will have the honor of pushing them over. Your forces will be disguised as forgotten army terrorists. Your objective is to capture a majority of the Rovaniemi Air Base's uplinks and upload a data virus codenamed Stiletto into Europe's missile shield network. If antiquated notions of morality prevent you from performing these duties, Colonel, simply speak up. I will have Major Noskov remove you from your command permanently. Otherwise, begin.
Savilov is logged on. Data stream secure and untraceable. All forces disguised as forgotten army terrorists. We are in position. Noskov did good job in disguise. We look so much like terrorists, we fool ourselves. Rovanimi's uplink network has been crashed. Mission objective is to secure and reboot more than half of uplink so we can upload stiletto virus. Reinforcements are limited. Make sure we use them correctly. As soon as we secure an uplink, we can upgrade it to let us order in airstrikes. This is Wolfman. We have full strength. Use wolves or artillery to attack hostile infantry in buildings. The hostile engineers defending this uplink are in cover. We will need riflemen to take care of them. Getting close, da. We like it. Now let's upgrade it with an encrypted data feed so we can target airstrikes in this place. Get your blood running! I want ah, killers, no not problem. hikers! This is Wolfman. Getting this off. Complaints should be directed to my fist. Check this. We secured it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sputnik network is back online. The little virus uploaded to European missile shield satellites, working its magic of launch recognition algorithms. Headquarters here. A fine job. Let us see America and Europe avoid a war now. When the fighting begins, I fear we will have no choice but to assist our American comrades in their crusade against Europe. It is finally coming through, General. We live in interesting times, Nesko. Interesting times. just seconds away from this morning's rescheduled launch of the Freedom 4. The crew looked calm and relaxed as they boarded the lifter on their mission to complete America's mighty Freedom Star. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7. We have main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of the Freedom 4. Writing a new chapter of security in space for the United States of America. It is with a profound sadness that I address you here this morning. At 7.45 a.m., we experienced a national tragedy when the Freedom 4 lifter exploded. My fellow Americans, we will never forget this morning how they climbed skyward only to be struck by a thunder that split the clouds and woke the world. We stand at DEFCON 1, ready for action. The motherland will not wait for you to be able to see your system mobilize our furious righteous. We did not start this war before. We will end it. A mere 20 minutes after the United States declared war on our nation, Russia has declared war also. Its armies have crossed the Polish border, attacking towards Warsaw, where elite enforcers' core battle groups are preparing to mount a determined defense. Russia has joined with America to put an immediate halt to European aggression. Our valiant forces have crossed the border to liberate Poland from the iron fist of European rule. <laughs> We <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you. 